Saturday was the Goldstone Grounds last stand. Last year it was sold to developers by former chairman Bill Archer, despised by every Brighton supporter. The loss has been softened by the arrival of Dick Knight as chairman and the managerial miracle working of Steve Grit. He took over with the team 11 points adrift and almost certain to drop out of the league. But the gap was down to three points going into Saturday's match with Doncaster Rovers. The Goldstone ground had never staged a more flammable fixture and it soon ignited. Brighton's captain Ian Baird couldn't handle the occasion, neither could Rovers' Darren Moore. A dirty dozen or so joined in, but the red cards went to Baird and Moore, the two fire starters. Yet Brighton have lost just one home game since Gris arrived. He felt one goal would be enough, and the honour of scoring the final Goldstone ground goal fell to Stuart Storer. Come the final whistle, there was more than just a collective sigh of relief. 11,000 poured onto the pitch to say goodbye and to claim their own mementos. Nobody stood in their way. After all, the club have been stripped bare. But if Knight has his way, Brighton will move to the nearby Greyhound Stadium for next season. And if they avoid defeat next week at Hereford, they'll stay in the Football League. Now we've actually got, got ourselves off the bottom of the league. I think the psychological boost of that, I hope, will um, certainly be a boost for us and will probably be... Bit of a downer for Hereford now, you know, they've, they've had so long above us, we've had so long to get off the bottom, now we're there, I know the players won't want to go back down there again.